just doing if you're just doing a, a kind of thumbs up, thumbs down on, on the four recommendations, staff will then okay. bring an ordinance back for you for you to, to be introduced to you. Okay, then let's do it that way. So we can all see on the screen, right, in front of us or up there. Um, how's everybody on uh, staff's recommendation? The first recommendation by staff, which is uh, to keep, to use 25 feet as the preferred reasonable distance to place around smoking prohibited areas. Okay. Okay, that appears to be unanimous. And then uh, allowing designated smoking areas to be included for multifamily housing properties. So the only thing I want to discuss before we talk about this is that we, we tried this in our parks, remember? And it was, there were places where people could smoke in parks. It was just we, the parking we, lot. We ended, up, we ended up taking that out. Actually, it was more than the parking lot. At El Roble, you could smoke on the trail. There was a specific spot, had a cigarette shop and everything. It wasn't just in, in there. There was de an actual designated spot in the park to smoke. Um, I don't think it works. It, uh, I mean, I understand the, the buffering and stuff would, would probably work, but to tell somebody that they cannot smoke in their units, but then they can find a designated space, I don't think that that's going to stay in that designated space. Um, so for, for this one, I would recommend that, that, um, that there is no designated space inside multifamily. That's where I'm going to go. Just wanted to throw that out Okay, there. yeah, I'm, I'm not going to agree <clears throat> with that, but that's uh, okay. I just, you know, what comes to mind is like Alexander and the way it's built. Like it would uh, contain the smoke instead of letting it escape, especially Correct. you know because outside the boundaries of that area, it's all public area. Yeah. So if they could control any area, it'd be within those walls of those buildings, and it it would just defeat the purpose of having a designated area at all. Which I think is the same way it defeats the purpose in the public event. There's no there's no place in a public event you can go and hide, and you're yeah. not going to smell the cigarette smoke or secondhand yeah. smoke or whatever. But a public event is something you choose <clears throat> to attend or not. We're talking about where someone lives. You're yeah. saying that <laughs> Even more you're important. not allowed to smoke where you live, <laughs> anywhere. Yeah. That's There's a lot of things that we don't allow people to do in their homes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. So that's it. So we have, uh, we know that one council member at least, if, if not more. So the, the, I'm asking for a thumbs up. A thumbs up means you're going with staff's recommendation, which is to allow a designated smoking area in multifamily housing properties. That's what thumbs up means. So do thumbs down if you feel that there should not be any designated smoking area at all in multifamily developments. Okay? So I need to see hands. So I see one something? down. I see two down. Could, oh, go ahead. Could I? Well, but is this mandating then? Basically, you're mandating by saying you want a, a uh, designated place or not. Oh. Allow. Yeah, it's not mandating. It's option. it's it's a, it's at the option, option of okay. the right. yeah, okay. right. Okay, so I saw two thumbs down. Right, two down, and the rest are up. So that one goes. All right. The next one is: uh, Should the ordinance require including a clause um, in multifamily housing leases identifying all other tenants as third-party beneficiaries for enforcement? Also recommended by staff. So. Is that thumbs up, everyone? All right, that, that one has one down, one no. So six yes, one no. And the last one, should designated smoking sections be allowed in public event <coughs> permits with similar requirements? So this would apply to something like the garlic festival. This is saying there is no smoking allowed. If, if you don't have, a, right, this would be. It's hard to hear you, Tom. Up yeah, there. I can't Could hear you. Is the microphone on? Oh, sorry, sorry. There are three exceptions in the code that, number one being the garlic festival, they allow areas at the event to have smoking. I know, but this is saying to no longer I know, do that. To no longer, That's exactly. what I'm trying to clarify for everybody. This yeah. would mean that at any public event in Gilroy, you're saying there is no place that anybody can legally smoke. You can legally do pot, but you can't legally use a cigarette, okay? <laughs> no, I, no, hold, hold on. I, I know that's a joke, but that's not true. This is secondhand okay. smoke for everything. doesn't matter where it's coming from. It's not legal or not legal. You, okay. Those, no secondhand smoke. Okay, well, I'm thing. supporting that there not be, so it doesn't matter for me, but I just want to well, make Well, no, you said clear. that it was legal to, to smoke one and not the other. <laughs> you did say that. Yeah, I did say that. Okay, so... Sorry, is there a restate question it? still? No, just restate it. I'm, I'm, a thumbs up means you're supporting staff's recommendation, which is not to recommend, which is against having designated smoking areas for public events. 
Isn't that like, I, I, even I'm confused with that. That's oh, almost like double a double negative. negative. Okay. Um, <laughs> okay, thumbs up means you support no designated smoking area. Okay, That's there we thumbs go. up, because that's what staff's recommendation is. No thumbs down means. Oh, wait, 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 you can't, no. You can't say, you're just, staff's saying not recommending. Unless it says no designated smoking area should be allowed, yes or no. A thumbs up says yes, it should be allowed. A thumbs down says no, there's, they should not be. And staff is saying no, there's none should not be. Okay. It's not, you're saying it wrong. I don't think I am because yeah, I'm using, I'm saying the staff recommendation thing and you're looking at the other oh, side. No, should designated yeah. smoking okay. be allowed. Okay, guys, no. <laughs> I am asking, I am saying for this council to put a thumbs up if you do not want designated smoking areas at public events. Thumbs down means you do. I'm sorry if that's opposite to you, but that's what we're saying. Okay? All right. So, I, uh, Carol. Okay. Okay? I'm, yeah, I'm going to the opposite, yes. You're saying, okay. what you're saying is no designated smoking areas. Right. For public events. Correct. Okay, so Council Member Bracco was a no. Council Member Klein is a no. So we have two people who would support designated smoking areas in public events and five who say let's not at public events is that clear yep. okay, okay.